Wild animals and humans live under the same blue sky dot, however, wild animals that rarely come into contact with humans will definitely stay away subconsciously after encountering humans because they know the destruction of some habitats and the killing of some wild animals are all due to humans. They are afraid of humans, but some animals still choose to seek help from nearby humans when they are in danger. Aren't they afraid of being hurt by humans again? There is such a female wolf dot she kept crying, and kept getting closer to the man in front of her dot the female wolf, did not attack the man dot instead, we can clearly find, her eyes are full of helplessness, man realizes the female wolf is in trouble, what happened, when you show love and kindness to wild animals, they know very well, who is helping them, they will even reward those, who help them with their own unique behaviors, animals are born with a keen sense of observation, whether you are sad, happy, angry, sad, they can clearly perceive human emotions, although they can't express in words, they can tell by the tone of your voice, animals also have the ability to predict danger, so they can all survive in this cruel nature, they are agile and can quickly sense where the danger is approaching, Wildlife is a very amazing species. A man had a magical story with a female wolf. Many people think that wolves are ferocious. In fact, the wolf is a kind of spiritual animal. They live in the cold places. They will not yield in the face of extremely bad weather. Striving to survive is their mission. Wolf is a pack animal. Super high teamwork ability allows them to have a place in this nature of the jungle. The important thing is that the wolf is a grateful animal. When a partner is in a dangerous place, as long as it has energy dot it will also try its best to help its partners out of trouble dot from this point of view, we need to learn from wolves. The story takes place on Cooper Island, Alaska in 1941 dot it's a quiet and peaceful place dot a surprising story happened adding a warm atmosphere to the island. Joseph is a local resident. There is a very famous river on this island because gold has been dug out of this river, but the river hasn't been dug up for gold in a long time. Joseph wanted to try his luck, so he decided to go dot other villagers, told him to be careful of the wolves on the nearby mountains. Cause it's the time of the wolves dot on this day. Joseph set off with his equipment, although this winter is about to pass. The cold wind blowing on face is still bitter. Joseph tightened his neckline and continued on his way. He prayed in his heart that he would not meet the wolves this time. He wants to go back safely. After a short walk, Joseph arrived at his destination. After well prepared, he is ready to start a big fight. In the wild in winter, except for the whistling wind. There is only silence. A little bit of noise can be heard clearly. Joseph put his equipment aside, ready to look for a starting point along the river. While he was concentrating, movement in the grass behind a tree caught his attention. Did he really meet a wolf? Joseph suddenly became terrified. He started getting nervous. But he waited for a long time. The wolf did not rush out from the grass. This movement is still going on. Joseph has no intention of digging for gold. He just wants to find out what's in the grass. Joseph tried his best to restrain his inner fear. He moved lightly, approaching the grass. He pushed through the grass and looked. Here is a wolf. Joseph was frightened by the sudden appearance of a wolf and sat on the ground. His legs became heavy and he couldn't move. We don't know if it's because of the cold weather or because of the fear of the wolf in front of him. Joseph's body trembled uncontrollably. Joseph calmed down and found the wolf didn't jump at him. Take a closer look. This wolf has milk on its body. This is a female wolf, but the wolf could not stop weeping. There are tears in its eyes, eyes full of helplessness. This female wolf looks like just gave birth. Newborn wolf cubs are generally thinner. The mother wolf will not leave her cubs easily. But Joseph looked around, but found no trace of the little wolf cub. Joseph is confused. The female wolf in front of him is exhausted. Its eyes no longer have the ferocity that a wolf should possess. But why did this wolf appear beside Joseph? 
is this all a coincidence? After a while, the female wolf turned around and wanted to leave. As she walked into the snow, she looked back at Joseph, as if asking for something from him. Joseph understood what the wolf meant. The purpose of the female wolf approaching Joseph is to ask him for help. There is no sign of cubs nearby. This female wolf probably took the risk to get close to humans for the sake of her children. It took a lot of courage. It may even be killed by hunters. Joseph followed closely behind the female wolf, walking in the snow. I don't know. How much time has passed off their tracks spread for miles in the forest. Fortunately, Joseph found scattered small paw prints on the path by the swamp. This looks like it was left by wolf cubs. Looks like they are not far from the cubs waiting to be rescued. Suddenly the female wolf stopped under a huge spruce tree. Joseph approached the spruce tree cautiously, as expected. Several little wolf cubs are shivering and huddling together. They hug each other in the nest. The little wolf cub seems to have been hungry for a long time. His body is thin and weak. When he saw his mother coming, he could only make a slight cry from mouth. Joseph looked at the poor wolf cub in front of him. He suddenly remembered that he had encountered a frozen deer on the way up the mountain. If the deer can be brought to the wolf and her cubs, these cubs are sure to get a good meal or at least not starve to death. After all, such a cold environment for a weak female wolf. Hunting must be very difficult. Joseph comforted the female wolf and told her about it. The female wolf seemed to understand Joseph's words and stayed quietly with her child. Joseph didn't dare to delay too long, turned around and left. After a while, Joseph dragged his exhausted body and put the frozen deer in front of the she-wolf. The female wolf looked at the food in front of her, and hurriedly tore off a small piece, which in turn fed to its own children. Wait until the children are full before eating slowly. Joseph looked at the outpouring of its maternal love. He is very moved. He lamented that the maternal love of animals is great. Female wolf wrist being hunted to get close to humans for her children. Joseph overcame his fear to help the wolf. Whether it is the great maternal love of animals, or human beings kind deeds to protect wild animals. This is worthy of our praise. Seemingly ferocious animals are full of love in their hearts. Joseph and the female wolf do not speak the same language, but they achieve salvation through each other's move. All things have spirits, and all animals have their own ways of communicating emotions. Humans and animals live together in nature, so they should help and care for each other. But there are still people who are greedy for profit and kill animals wantonly. They will be punished. We should join hands and appeal to all around us. Let's do our part to protect animals.